you start hearing a train type sound, like the wind's whistling, go in there and just wait. On this episode of Storm Chasers, <laughs> this truck's moving. It's bouncing. Look at the truck. Oh. Oh, wow. oh my god. Oh, oh you oh. really hold on to that door. They're moving so fast. So this is a normal, right? This no. is a normal. Okay. Is this tornado converted? It might be. I mean, this is uh, still pretty warm out. It's raining. Yeah. And that means tornado? Yeah. Oh. You have a high pressure to low pressure very quickly in a small area. Oh, man. Server room. The server room. Do you know where it's at? Yes. Okay. No. I, I do. Come He's like, no, I don't <laughs> actually. Please show me. Got it's an you. internal room, little room, but it'll fit us all. Okay. It's got extra supports on the top and side. That's that the good. last place that'll be affected by a tornado. Massive rain and thunderstorm that just blew through here. The oh, big bay door got blown off the track. We always do things bigger and better here in Texas. Yeah, it's a little lost that piece. I made a pretty uh, good point. Don't go in that room because all the scrap metal is gonna fly around. And oh like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. dude, I was freaking out out there because the roof panels were laying there. The yeah. wind could take it. Yeah. But that and then the metal was all out there. Too. Yeah, that could just spray up and slice you, dude. Well, you know, the video has slowly devolved into a storm chaser, like surviving a Texas wind tornado. Hey, welcome storm. to Texas. Massive rain and thunderstorm that just blew through along with some golf ball sized hail. It blew in in about a minute and a half, stayed for about 10 minutes, blew the door of our shop open, and then it just kind of quit. <laughs> 10 minutes after what you just saw Fabian do, and all the water coming down and everything Storm over. going crazy. Just like that. It's the most calm thing ever. This is <laughs> a good video. Let's see it. Guys, a crazy storm just came through. <laughs> Some super wild it doesn't even sound like, see look at the sound deadening on the hard top. You can't even hear the fucking Oh yeah. Thing. That's your sound test. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> look at the sound difference. That wonderful foam everybody loves so much is very uh, waterproof. So we just went through the car wash, the hard top stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, the countdown is on. We have 21 hours till we have to get out of here. It's 10.30, we just got word that our hard top isn't gonna be here till the end of the day. So which means we're gonna have another late night, but we're gonna get cranking and install some parts today that we basically just got in yesterday. So we can start hitting the road and get to Utah for United by Bronco on Thursday. So starting off, we're gonna get a tailgate reinforcement on this bad boy which means the wheel has to come off. We have updated brackets that Bronk Busters so kindly sponsored us with. So we have to take this off, this off, everything that goes into that. We also have the Baja Design front light bar. Luckily, we did pre-wire already, thanks to the guys over at Texas Motor Works in Dallas, shout out to them. Light bar came in just yesterday, so we're gonna install that today. All right, so Tyler also gifted us his buster braces, so that way we can secure our front tie rods. That way we're nice and safe on the trail. Make sure you get my good side. <laughs> <laughs> Second Bronk Buster going on. Second one. We're excited to get those installed, kind of give us some more security. We got the wrap done just this week. Shout out to Greg over at Underground Graphics here in Houston. It's gonna be a big crunch, but I think we can get it done. Removing the wiring harness so that way it could take off the tailgate. Not a lot of room. <laughs> get back there. 
Let's pull out the handy dandy. <laughs> the YouTube tutorial. Reference guide. Ah, come on. <laughs> the clock is against us. We gotta get it done quick. Now we're gonna put on these bad boys. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we got this all offloaded, unhinged from the back of the Bronco, and now we're putting on those. Shout out, Bronco Buster. Tyler's been great because he gets us a lot of really accelerated testing and it's like okay we'll try this go beat the crap out of it and see how it holds up uh what time are we getting to your place tomorrow that is a very broad question <laughs> we finish hella late tonight and get home sleep and then head out at a decent time in the morning or we run into some kind of weird snag and we have to finish up some stuff in the morning and we leave around lunchtime so we get to your place late. I think regardless we're probably going to get to your place around I don't know 10 p.m. I'm guessing. <laughs> Just cause it, dude, it's from, from my place to your place, it's like 12, 13 hours. <laughs> what the fuck happened? What's it's, happening? It's stuck. What time is it? Tell me. 8 o'clock. And what are we doing? Just finished installing some glass. So basically now we're gonna work on the interior. Um, I'm all sweaty because it's freaking hot. We just got this in about an hour ago. Literally the interior pieces are here. There's a million different pieces because the hardtop has a million different bends. So rather than trying to make bigger pieces to try and make it form, we figured out if we make a bunch of little pieces, we can actually make the fitment a lot tighter. Uh, so we're happy with that. You can see the diamond cut pattern. This goes on the interior side of the goal wing. So when you open the door, you see this fancy little pattern here. Again, we can do diamond pattern, hexagonal pattern, and like a board pattern where there's just a bunch of different lines. We really like the diamond cut. I think it's pretty fancy. I personally like the black on black just cause it's kind of ghosted in there. Just got the uh, full hard top in just like an hour ago. So we're- uh... Yeah preparing this late at night. Him and Sam are the last ones left yep. in the building here. It's gonna be another late night. Here we are after hours. And uh, yeah. hopefully we get this wrapped up tonight and then we're out of here in the morning or at least mm -hmm. early-ish morning. We uh, put the dramatic boots on in, in the in the intro, but now it's actually pretty, uh, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty close it's up It's gonna there. get close, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sam's still doing hardware. Yeah, he's still We have still to wait for there. this to dry up. We can probably see him. Yeah. <laughs> what are you working on? Oh, gasket done for these two. Damn. That's nice. Pretty clean. We're lining the interior of the hard top yes, with sir. this diamond pattern. What type of material is it? This is an EVA foam material. It's a half inch material that sticks really freaking hard. <laughs> We're Testing, oh my god. I usually use a different method to line it up, but since we're kind of on crunch time, and believe it or not, yes, I keep peeling it up, and yes, I keep realigning it, but once the stuff adheres, it's like, you're not gonna get this off. You wanna get this thing as perfect as you can. Absolutely. It's thermally insulating, sound deadening, closed cell foam. So it's water resistant. What else? It comes in different colors and we can route different patterns. We thought it was a great choice for our interior of our hard top. We road tested it. It makes it so much quieter on the inside. You can actually clean it if you need to. How many pieces of this go on the hard top? Oh yeah, there's a shit ton. Never mind. Hella fine. Huh? There's what? <laughs> it's good. good. Damn, that's good. Damn, first try? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's like perfect. Hey, use that one in the clip, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, those are the gold right ones. One it's one of them. Nice. More little baby pieces, like those towards the rear. 
Nope. Yep. Perfect fit, not even trying. Saucy, dude. All right, done. Damn. Psych. Just kidding, we still gotta peel it. <laughs> Line her up. Got our whole location. Oh my god. god. Alright, that is that. Okay, ready? <laughs> That's gonna be when we need a jump scare in the middle of <laughs> Scenic car ride. <laughs> there we go. Money. Too clean with it. Whew. First try, too. Someone called the <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah. It's time to put the hard top on. It's time to put the hard top on. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Get it's getting hyped now. It's, only, hyped. it's, it's only 12 30 in the morning. Yeah, for real. Yeah, it's still early. <laughs> it's still early. <laughs> it's early because we're not gonna sleep dude we're just, this is all gonna be the morning yeah it's all good we're just gonna get to the house and be like, ah, yeah, time to time to pack up let's let's go to utah packing what's that oh my god <laughs> instead of the three pairs of pants fabian only brings one <laughs> what a shock <laughs> look how much crap we got back here if you're wondering what that large piece is at the whole ass table right there everything's making noise but you know what is it all the hard top the hard top <laughs> Unloading the soft top and preparing for the hard top. Do we have anything to say about this now that we've been at this for a couple hours and we're finally able to put the first hard top that's going like on the, you know YouTube and stuff. I'm excited out on there. Sam, you excited? Yeah, Sam, what are we feeling about this? You know, we're getting getting yeah, in the yeah, time. Yes. Yeah. He's excited. <laughs> yeah. This is the very first powder coated hard top. Closest to production, um, basically a production off the lot. And it's going to its first big Bronco off-roading event. Yes, sir. In probably a couple hours now. Mount stuff like um, T-tracks or things like that. Okay. Uh, but obviously there, there are holes into the uh, body, so we have to at least plug them. Sam's putting the final steps of the Bronco together before it goes Almost on. Almost there. How are we feeling, Sam? Pretty good. Nice. Ready for some sleep, but <laughs> yeah. this one's turning out really nice, so I'm excited. go there we go final steps at the top Woo! Woo! Let's get them roof panels in quarter turn nice and tight like that Ooh. with the lock Dang. oh Ooh, look at that Ooh. damn look at that suction Dang. oh my lord oh pure confidence in that stopping our movement it's that bottom bolt to bottom belt who did that last one Just like that, the Bronco is done. Look how easy it was to put the hard top on. And it's only 4.23. We started that thing at like <laughs> 6 in the morning, like 6 in the afternoon. It was so fast that reverse time, that's crazy. <laughs> started at 6, finished at 4, this thing will save you time. So it's 4.30 in the morning. We made it. Sam over here kicked butt. We got... The buster brace installed like we said we were gonna do. We got the light bar installed. We the freaking tired. Well, the hard tops installed. <laughs> Tailgate reinforcement is done. Basically, we're out of here. Yeah. We haven't slept, but we got about three Tell hours. Tell us about the hard top up. more about installation. How I mean, long it took. All the all the stuff. We're we're here now. Yeah. We're finally ready to I'll let kick Sam some jump. ass driving. But my favorite feature is of course the goal wings. So we got Molly on the exterior. We're gonna have Molly panels on the interior so you can store everything you need. We're getting way better at gasket installation in <laughs> order of operations. A lot of it was 
testing out the final fit and finish, getting the glass in. Um, took some time getting the liner in, and then finally just that the final install and making sure everything looked clean and perfect. How right. pumped are you guys that it's finally done? One of your first product ones out on the road, finally, tomorrow, or today, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm asleep well the night. <laughs> no, it feels good. In the morning, this yeah. morning? Yeah, this morning is, <laughs> I'm gonna have sleep for breakfast. It feels great, it's uh, really neat to see this is our first one that's been fully powder coated. Um, so seeing how that came out and uh, working with the tolerances there, uh, it's it's great to see it come together and look this good. So I think it looks badass. <laughs>